Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my art channel. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. This week's video is going to be a product review and it is the Hemi Solid Watercolour Pan Set. Um, I have done videos of the other um, Hemi products that they do, such as the gouache watercolour pencils and colouring pencils. So if you wanted to go check those videos out, you can. Um, and now they're doing the solid watercolour pans as well. Um, I've got these off of Amazon, they were $16.99 and um, I have had this a little while so the price may have changed but um, I will leave a link in the description below if you wanted to get your own set um, after seeing this video. Um, but yeah, um, I think it's quite reasonable. Um, if you're new to watercolour or you, you're considering watercolouring um, and just wanted to to try it out this may be the pan set for you um, it's you know you're not spending a huge amount of money um, if you don't pursue it so yeah not bad it's quite a nice little case it's kind of like in the shape of a shell um, and it's got this window on the front so you can see some of the colors inside um, I've chosen the 38 colors there are two different sets I think I believe the other one is 26 colors but I wanted to take advantage of all the colors that they offer so I went for the bigger set um, if I turn it over we have a paintbrush on the back which normally they do include with every um, paint product that they do um, and then on the back also you've got this little key wheel here of all the colors and the names as well um, you could choose whether or not to have a pink or a blue case I went with a pink one um, I wasn't really that fast I don't think it really makes a difference to be honest um, but yeah um, so that is the back of the case um, so let's open it up Um, so I'll just show you the range of colours. So they're very vibrant and you've got a nice set here. Um, I think you've got quite a bit of choice. And then if I look at the inside of the lid, we have these little sections and that is your uh, paint wells. So this is your palette, which I think is very thoughtful. Like they really thought about the case of this set um, and utilising everything. So yeah. Um, quite nice to see that and then you've got this little well here which you could use as well um, but yeah not bad not a bad little set and so I'll do some swatching um, and then make some art So I thought I'd just jump in um, to give you my first thoughts about this set before I actually start doing the art. Um, the pans themselves, they are very chalky and that does relay when you actually paint onto the paper. So the paint themselves are very chalky. Um, I, I did actually just do a little test and um, the paint does come up. It's kind of like a pastel uh, texture. Um, so yeah and it does smudge the paper so just be mindful of that um, it'd be interesting to see how they layer um, over each other I did kind of come in with the wet brush just to see how well they lift uh, the paint lifts off of the paper so if you were to make a mistake um, you could lift off the paint uh, you can do that with watercolors um, the lighter I would say the lighter the color the easier it is to lift the paint but the darker um, you, you're not gonna get that um, unfortunately but you get a nice set of colors uh, they're very vibrant and for the majority they are very pigmented there are some that are quite diluted they're not as pigmented um, but, but they're very bright in colors 
there are a couple that are very similar to each other you've got these two are very similar and these two here um, but yeah not bad for a, for a little set so if you wanted to try out watercolors um, that you've not you've not used like tried them out before it's yeah uh, there are I would say there are better watercolor pans out there um, such as Windsor and Newton Der and Derwent to name a few um, but if you if you are on a budget it's not a bad way to start um, so the next part of the video is the actual art um, and I'll, I'll give you my full review at the end of the video um, so for now enjoy the time lapse Where is 
Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I don't hate it, but don't love it. And that's going for both the painting and the paint set. Uh, if you've been following my, my channel for a while and you, you've seen my product review 
videos um, you'll know that I, I tend to choose references or do art that are quite colourful and vibrant um, especially when I've got a huge range of um, paints to try out um, I want to utilise as much as I can uh, from that set um, and um, give you like my honest review of, of like using that set um, I chose a reference off of Pinterest um, which is my go-to place for references and ideas and uh, yeah I, it's a, a little village in uh, Italy and there's some beautiful bright coloured um, buildings uh, and I kind of just wanted to, to give that a go. It is a little rough and ready, um, I was a bit loose with the painting, um, I didn't put a lot of detail into this piece uh, as it shows but um, I, I just wanted to just get a feel for the paints more than anything um, yeah it's very bright um, the very pigmented uh, paints as you can see um, you get a nice cho choice of colors um, I did realize when I was painting um, they are in like sections of colors so you've got your yellows and oranges and sort of like your um, browns uh, pinks and uh, purples, blues, greens and then your darker colours there. Um, so yeah, um, I thought that was quite well thought out um, and you could choose from there. It would have been nice to have had not too bright colours uh, of the pink. It would have been nice to have like a warmer pink colour. But other than that, um, I think the choice of colours is quite nice. Um, you can get quite a lot from that and then you can also mix your colours so you can create new ones. Um, the paints themselves, they don't feel like watercolours, um, they do feel like dried out gouache, um, they're very powdery um, and dry on the paper when they dry, um, so it, they, it doesn't feel nice to be honest and I, I've never known watercolours to, to do that, um, but they do layer okay um, if you are layering um, different colored uh, paints over one another um, just be mindful it does lift the color underneath um, so just bear that in mind if you're trying these paints out um, but also when I have like blocked the colors um, so I do um, so uh, most of these houses um, I loaded the paintbrush with like thick paint um, and then that's kind of where you get the smooth um, colors there and um, when they've dried um, there are little sections in this piece where where it's dried um, they chip the paints chipped off um, so yeah um, not really impressed with that to be honest and again watercolor doesn't normally do that <laughs> um, also the paints on the paint palette when they dry um, has like broken off like dried out and chipped like got like, little chips again watercolor doesn't do that <laughs> so um, I wouldn't say that these are watercolors um, they do kind of work in the same way as watercolors but I would say that I them more towards gouache um, if you're painting with gouache but um, overall not a bad little set um, as I said uh, I was a little bit rough and ready with the painting um, I kind of like towards the end was getting a bit fed up of, of this not the painting itself but um, just the process um, so I did come in uh, with a Kuretake um, marker pen uh, 0.3 or 03 actually um, and just um, just outlined the houses and everything just to clean it up a little bit because um, it was a little bit of a mess um, but yeah I mean overall not a bad little little set I wouldn't say they are the best um, if you're trying out watercolors for the first time I would recommend probably more Winsor & Newton or Derwent pan sets over this one um, I don't want to be negative at all um, but this is an, uh, my honest review um, I think there are definitely better paints out there um, I would like to try uh, another video where I'm using this set but also 
uh, combining that with the other Hemi products that I have, uh, which are the gouache, the watercolor pencils and the coloring pencils. So it'd be interesting to see how those products work together. Um, so um, look out for a future video where I will be using all of the Hemi products together in one piece. Um, I hope you like what I created. I know it's not my usual um, style, but I, I think it's quite um, quite creative and uh, bright. So I, quite, I do quite like that. Um, but yeah, um, please do leave a comment down below what you think of what I've created and my review of this um, pan set. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Please do give me a like, share and a subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.